Already gloved up and ready for this one. We're doing yet another smash burger. We know what you're already thinking. You know what I'm thinking? Twist my arm. I'll do a smash burger every time we turn the camera on. Right. Man. That's how much I love them. Sam the cooking guy did a whole month's worth of smash burgers. We've done probably three months on the channel and we're doing another one by request. Yes, and one that we're like, we've got to try. This. We're so geeked out by this, we got to try. You yep. want to see how we go about doing this Peanut, peanut butter and, and jelly smash, smash burger. burger. Stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Yes, super excited. DS Miloff and family. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. We appreciate so much you reaching out. Tell us not only how much you love watching the show, but also sharing a family favorite. They mentioned they kind of started doing this one as a joke. They had one similar in a restaurant. They thought, oh. you know what? That's funny. Let's try it. Ends up becoming a pretty much a family favorite. Yes. Now, there is a restaurant right up the road here called Relish. It's a okay. burger joint. Right. And uh, they make a peanut butter and jelly burger as well. Never tried it because I was like, I don't want to try it. But do they then, put relish on it? It's funny. It's it's as in relish the taste. I get Rel it. Okay. I don't know why I don't explain it. <laughs> <laughs> great, great family that owns the owns the joint. Uh, but I've I've had their their breakfast burger. I've mm -hmm. had a lot of things that we've tried here, but never their uh, peanut butter and jelly burger. So uh, here we are. Yeah, Brett, get to the ingredients so people know exactly what we're putting in this and why we're putting it in. There's peanut butter. There's jelly. They're smashed in burgers. <laughs> now, as you can see right here, grape jelly is this the jelly the that we're told that we have to use. I wanted raspberry. Berry jelly, that's my jam. But, yeah. ah, but we got uh, Jif peanut butter, only the best. Yes. Others are other. Okay, right. and then we've got the 80 20 ground beef, already salted and peppered. These Arnold potato buns, we absolutely love these. And the Smithfield, we love our peeps in Smithfield. This uh, bacon, which by the way, buy one, get one free at Publix. Nice, good to know. <laughs> Publix, shout out to you. Thank you for having that on sale right now. Yes. Uh, we were able to get, we're doing a few cooks uh, needing bacon. This one is including bacon originally when the fam reached out to us and, and uh, told us about this one, they didn't include bacon. I asked, can we, I said, can we use bacon? They said bacon's a must because the savory to offset the sweet. Brent, let's get to the griddle. Here we go. I gloved up and then realized I'm sound guy today. I'm filming sound guy. I'm not gloving up. All right, Brent's got the buns. We realized we didn't picture but, uh, butter, which we're gonna use to butter the buns. So, so for those that don't know, we always have a designated stick of butter for these cooks. So we can just lay them right on the griddle like this. Brett's gonna go ahead and we're gonna quickly toast the buns. It won't take long at all. Nice. Thank you. I, I love to, your uh, placement. I went to a uh, bun those. placement on the griddle school. <laughs> Got second in my class. <laughs> Which is weird because there was only one other student. <laughs> all right, it's been on for about 15 seconds and we're ready. I'd say it was closer to 30 seconds. Uh, would you though? Wouldn't they? Brent wanted to hurry and get the butter off the griddle so we could get the bacon on now. We typically like to put the bacon on a cooled down griddle just because uh, just so it, it won't curl up. Curling, yep. Yeah, but we don't have a choice in this because we've already got the griddle on and you know what? At the end of the day, it's gonna taste the same, Brett. That's right, Adam. Sizzle. Sizzle me this, Batman. It's the reason that uh, Snoop Dogg got the griddle. Likes cooking bacon on the griddle. For sizzle. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> got to. <laughs> this bacon that just has a mind of its own, man. Well, it's gonna cook how it cooks. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna cook this bacon up when we're ready to pull it. We'll come back, we'll get to the next phase. All right, ready to pull the bacon. The bacon is ready. Mm -hmm. All except for, funnily enough, right in the middle of the griddle, which is normally my hot, hot, hot zone, it is not quite ready. So I'm gonna let this sit. And this just has, well, actually, by the time I said that, <laughs> it's like, ready well, to pull. it is ready to pull. So there we go. There we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and crank the heat up. Actually, Watch we'll scrape it first. There you go. We'll get ready for some smash burgers. burgers. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're calling an audible. We're going to put peanut butter on the bottom bun and jelly on the top one because uh, we're going, that's how we're going to load up on the, the burgers themselves. Like light like that? No, I would do heavy. Heavy, all right, okay, I feel you. I think we should put the bacon right now in that peanut butter. Oh, on the bottom. I like, like the way agree? you think, my guy. So go ahead and get the bacon, put it in there, so that way it'll hold together, right? Sure, let me get the, let me get the top jump. Okay, that's what we're getting, Adam. That's all we're getting, that's right now. All right, go get the bacon. Bacon. There we go. 
There we Ooh, go. This one's crumbling up. I like it. All right, I love it. I don't know what that looks like, but it looks like a maple bacon donut. It totally looks like a maple <laughs> bacon donut. Brett, we've got the meatballs ready to go down. Mm -hmm. All right, no oil for us. We're just gonna lay them straight on there, right on the hot griddle. All right. You got your parchment paper? One bedroom of parchment paper right here. One bedroom of parchment paper. Coming right up. All right, so as we always say, the rule to a good smash is to hold it for, Brett says eight seconds, yep. I say 10. But we decided not to lay it to smash it down on this one, I oh, guess. We sure didn't, Adam. I guess, should we start over? No. <laughs> oh, I thought you were serious. <laughs> jokes this guy all day. <laughs> Nice. So that's already almost ready to, to flip it, dude. Off, flip the D A, and last but not least. All right, we ready to both rock and roll, my dude. All right, so Brett's gonna go ahead and give these a flip. Dig under there. Nice. Make sure you get all of it. Oh, that is a Maillard reaction. I told you the D is silent, yes? <laughs> it's the nice. D we do not speak of. There we go. And last but not least, there we now go. Now we cheese them up? No, we're I not did. cheesing them. So we're gonna pull these, gonna drain them just a little bit before we hit them with our schmear. So let's do the bottom ones first. Winter schmear. So Brett is going to dunk that off just a little bit. There we go. And then go get your, um, yeah, go put this one on. And then make sure you go and get your- Peanut butter. Peanut butter. All right, so I'm sure this is gonna make this very ooey and gooey. Oh yeah, already fell off the knife. Leave it like that. There you go, big old flubbity dub. I'm okay with that. Flubbity dub, <laughs> new word. Flubbity dub of peanut bub. <laughs> By the way, if you're watching this still and you're still with us, comment flubbity dub down in the in the comments. Just cuz? Mm hmm All right, so Brett just wants a big old heaping mess. I'm okay with that. Yes. <laughs> it's just it's just dripping off, it's melting off. And this nice, perfect crustification burger going on there. <laughs> oh <Am> I man. <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> no. Get the jelly. Oh my. Kind of pour the grape jelly on, because I'm not going to spread it. I'm sure it's being shy. <laughs> shy all about. All right. I hope that's enough. Well, we're going to find out. Aren't we, though? How do you feel about that? That looks good. All right. So go ahead and put your tops on. So we're going to put our lids on. I think we need to cut one so we can see what it looks like down the cross section. What do you I think? Thought that, that mess, that mess is in your hand. Okay. All right, I don't think we're gonna cut it. We're gonna eat it like this. Let me get some <laughs> thumbnails here. Well, the time has come to dig on in because there, there they, they are, are in, in all, all their, their glory. glory. And I want to tell you, the last time we addressed this camera right here uh, in this spot was probably seven minutes ago. That's yeah. how quick this <laughs> It really was. Now, these look like a hot mess in all the right way. So we're going to grab, we're going to set the plate down, we're going to grab them, then we'll get into this. So uh, I'm super excited yeah. about this. All right, me too. A while back, Brett and I did peanut butter burgers. We put nothing else on them. I'm excited for the bacon. I'm excited for the jelly. This thing's dripping everywhere. Yep. So let's hurry and dig into this. Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. It's, it looks pretty amazing. I'll it take does. That. Like we say, it can smell amazing. It actually smells it, uh, so much. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all for not. Cheers. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my brother. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. That that works. Mm. I'm not mad at that at all. Why does that work? Why does it work? Because mm. <laughs> not this is right here. Man, I need yours. <laughs> Here's the thing. I can taste the sweetness. I would never tell that that's great jelly. No. <laughs> and the peanut butter. Of course, you get the bacon. That is an outstanding burger. Yeah. In fact, I would just want more jelly. That's it, maybe uh, side to dip it in or something because. That's a good point, because I was just thinking right now, I was like, 
What about raspberry? Raspberry jelly is, like I said, it's my, right. it's my favorite jelly. I now want to try this with a raspberry jelly. Yeah. That's good. That is really, really good. I think my, my biggest thing with it is like, when we did the peanut butter burgers, uh -huh. they left, they seemed a little bland. I don't know how to say it. That, no, that's, that's how you say it. They were bland. I think they that's what it was. But we didn't add anything else to it. No. This one, we've got bacon. We've got, we got peanut butter and jelly. Mm. It is a really, really, it's a glorified PB and J, bro, with smash burgers in it. Come on, that's satisfying. Yeah, that's all I can say. Satisfying. Here's the what a great word for that. You gotta try this. Yeah. Try this and comment below, or if you have done it, comment below and see. Uh, let us know if you've tried anything other than great. We are told we had to use great for this one. Yes. So that's well, why we did that. Because that, great, by the way, is my least favorite of the jellies. Oh, but you know what? It doesn't mean I don't so like well. it. It's just my least. Favorite. I got you. I love it. I think it worked very well on this. Like you, I would like even a strawberry or a raspberry jam. Maybe some preserves where you got the bigger chunks of the actual oh. um, fruits in them. Okay. Forget about it, man. Man, that's good. That's, that's a good burger. That is good. I, I don't know. It's like, it's like I feel like it, it needs something else only because it's just so, it's cheese? just good. Maybe, oh, we talked about cheese. <laughs> we talked about cheese. We talked about cheese. A pungent cheese. cheese. Oh, like you could. Maybe, like maybe a gorgonzola, <laughs> maybe a goat feta, maybe. Feet cheese, stinky feet cheese. I was thinking American. Oh, maybe a smoked, yeah, you're right. maybe a smoked Gouda, I don't know. Smoked Gouda, my guy. All right, well, you gotta try this one, and again, let us know what your thoughts are. So here's my biggest takeaway. Yeah. Where I get the sweet, it's spectacular. When you don't, it's that slight bland like it was before, but that's where the bacon this time also helps. Okay, I was gonna say, I did not, there was so that one ounce why, of bland in my But that's why all. I say where it is, it's satisfying. So, salt and pepper is key. You gotta yes. make sure you get salt pepper, yep. add bacon, and try this one. I just wanna keep going and hanging out. I know, in. exactly. Like, oh, so let's this. just do it, that. It, from right here, it looks like a jelly-filled donut it with does, burgers sticking it outside, does. cause you can see the, the jelly on it. Right. This was a fun one to come yep. and do. It, it, at the end of the day, it, this is fun. It this is. was a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed this, or it gave you an idea of something else that you can do on your griddle, another way to do a smash burger, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle cookbook or smashed which both can be found on Amazon or anywhere books are sold and we are so grateful yep. for Barnes the legions Noble. of people Books that have already purchased <laughs> local well, library do, I don't know <laughs> we do appreciate it so much man aside from coming and knocking out bangers like this why else do we get together because all we do is twin no, no matter, matter what. what with that we bid you adieu and don't forget to like and subscribe and griddle on, on.